What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. I appreciate you all tuning in. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I'm just barely getting over a, a cold right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be able to hear me a little congested. However, even though uh, I am congested, I can still smell. So I didn't want to pass up uh, not giving you guys a video uh, this week. So, um, you know, I wanted to I wanted to make sure I wanted to, to at least do a, a one video for you guys this week. So with that being said, I got two new fragrances, all right? Two stunners from the House of Dua. Um, I've already smelled one, and the other one I'm gonna put on for, for you guys uh, right here on camera. And, um, you know, let me just bring these two stunners out to show for you guys. So, the first one, and I had to get this one, guys, and I believe this is a new release from Dua. It's called Killer Royal Chariots Instinct. And that's what this bad boy is right here. All right, so that's Killer Royal Chariots Instinct. And pff, guys, this is a banger. Man, I knew, I knew that this was gonna be a banger, which is why I had to get it, right? And the other one is Blue de Dua Atar. That's what this guy is right here, Blue de Dua Atar. So, uh, I haven't smelled this one yet, but um, just from what I was able to smell off the atomizer, I mean, it's, it's Blue de Chanel, guys, but uh, it's the Parfum version. But it, obviously, you know, Blue de Dua Atar, it's pretty much going to be on steroids so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna put this one on um man right out the atomizer it smells really really good uh i know which by the way guys i wanted to point out too uh before i spray this one on dua has made some changes on their uh on their bottles and on their packaging as well um so I do like their new boxes, right? So here, here's their new boxes. Has uh, even different uh, embeddedment in their lettering and, you know, on their design too. And it just opens up like this and then the fragrance sits in there and then they have a script right here. So, and then right here it says the doabrand.com and then on the back you got like the symbol again and some ingredients. So, uh, shout out to Dua for, you know, upgrading uh, from their boxes. Not to say that their older ones were not good. I, I really like their older ones too, like the shiny black ones. Those ones were, were dope too, but I can dig these ones too. Um, but like, I noticed with uh, Killer Royal Chariots Instinct, like the labeling seems different uh, than their other labeling that I've gotten before in the past. Like there's something more, I don't know, upgraded about this labeling, I guess. But anyways, uh, back to Blue to do a guitar, guys. So, uh, and the lids too, you know, they did change the lids as well. You see both lids, they look different compared to the other duos. Uh, I'm used to like the, the clear, you know, rectangular lid that they got, but you know, I, I, I dig these wooden round ones too. So, and their atomizers as well too. I noticed uh, their atomizers are like more pressurized now, so you can kind of gauge how much you want to put on there. So let's check this one out guys. guys. Blue de Dua Atar. Man, okay, woo, there it is. I know I'm on it, that's all I'm gonna need for that one. Okay, yeah. 99% uh, 
identical, all right, with Blue de Chanel Parfum. Uh, I was at the mall last weekend, and um, I put I put some of this on, um, on one of the testers I was sitting out there. Uh, I was wearing I was wearing Blue de Chanel Parfum, so uh, I know that scent right away. I mean, it's Blue de Chanel, guys. You know, you got that zesty uh, grapefruit. And you got the the fresh uh, woodsiness, all that blended in to that you know timeless shower jelly, uh, non-offensive accord. You know it's hard to offend. I feel like it'd be hard to offend somebody wearing something like this, right? Um, it smells really really good, uh, and blue you know blue Chanel is a timeless scent, right? So being that this is that on steroids. You can't go wrong with this one, guys. Man, this smells great. Uh, shout out to Duo on that for this one. Um, I really wanted to get uh, Blue to Duo Atar because uh, I have Blue to Chanel EDT. And, you know, I wear that one uh, pretty often. But, <clears throat> I mean, I do, I get good longevity on it. But I notice it starts to become like, a skin scent after you know just a few hours so I, I wanted something a little stronger right I wanted something I wanted to add more to my you know blue daily warrior collection right so that's why I decided to get this bad boy right here guys and which I highly recommend this one too this smells great can't go wrong with this one anytime any occasion all year round I mean you know, this could be one of those dumb reaches that you really can't go wrong with. So, that's Blue De Dua Atar. Uh, I know that I, I want to see how long this is going to last. I know it's going to last long, hence the Atar. Whenever you see Atar on these Dua fragrances, guys, you know they're going to be beast performers. So, pretty sure that one's going to last long. So, next stunner on this list, right? Killer Royal Chariots Instinct, all right? So this came in the mail yesterday, and I wanted to smell at least one of them, guys. And between the two, I was excited. I was more excited to smell this one first. So this blend is Amen, Amen's Pure Malt from Terry Muglet, blended with... Parfum de Marley's Layton. Like, guys, when I saw that blend, I think Duo was advertising it like a few days ago. Like, earlier this week. I was like, yo, when I saw that blend, I was like, I gotta buy that one. Like, that's gonna be a killer banger of a blend, all right? And so, sure enough, guys, like, you know, what's funny is... I was actually looking to get Dua's Killer Instinct, which um, I believe that's the name of it. Killer Instinct is their version of Terry Muglet's uh, Amen Pure Malt. Um, I have Pure Malt, the original bottle, but, uh, you know, I, I just want to get it. I just want to have it in a Dua bottle, guys, because I know it's going to be a banger. You know, that's just how Dua does it. Um, but yeah, guys, this right here is a killer combo, okay? I cannot wait until this ages and macerates because I know it's just going to get better, okay? I put this on last night, guys, and um, I put this on, oh, like around like 6 o'clock. And I woke up this morning, guys, still smelling it on my skin, all right? I, and I woke up you know, at like nine in the morning. So I got a, <laughs> I got a good amount of sleep. And um, that just goes to show that this right here, guys, is a banger, okay? Killer Royal Chariots Instinct. And um, they do have a sale right now on their website. I believe they're having a 25% off Dua. And uh, I think the code is Dua25. So, um, yeah, they, they have that sale, 
So I recommend you guys uh, go and check out Dua. Check out these two bangers, guys. You will not be disappointed, all right? Uh, time of the year to wear this, definitely in the cold, okay? In my opinion, uh, colder, colder seasons for this one, guys. Amen Pure Malt is meant for the cold. And so is Parfums de Marley Layton. So, in my opinion, that's just my opinion, guys. Um, I wouldn't wear this like in the dead of summer. Um, unless where you live, you, you have, a, you know, cooler summer days or summer nights, then okay, you can pull this one off. But in my opinion, this is for the colder weather. Um, man, 10 out of 10 banger, guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> This smells so amazing. You get that that boozy malt from from Amen's Pure Malt, blended with uh, Parfums de Marley Parfums de Marley Layton. You get that that uh, that sweet boozy uh, apple pie accord from Layton. Man, you blend that with Amen's Pure Malt. Man, it's, this is out of this world, guys. Like, I'm telling you, Masam knew what he was doing when he wanted to blend these two. So, anyways, that's what I got for you guys today. Um, hopefully I can get over this cold sooner so I can, I can uh, smell my fragrances better too. But um, I got some more fragrances uh, that I got in the mail too that I'm gonna review for you guys. And um, stay tuned for those ones. I appreciate you all tuning in. I hope you all are having a great weekend. And uh, take care guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.